Well, hey, hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on the live stream. <laughs> on the live stream. Happy Monday. Getting it situated, getting ready to roll. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. <laughs> this thing, this, I'm sorry. This thing is not uh, functioning. Got it. It's kind of weird. Okay. Five seconds. Now on KXLY 4s Good Morning Northwest, he took an oath to do no harm. Now a former doctor heads to federal court to face child sex charges. An Uber driver on a deadly shooting spree in Michigan. What we've learned about his night of terror. And the project helping man and beast KXLY 4's Mark Peterson and the Extreme team are in the thick of the project. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Derek Dice. It is Monday, February 22nd. Let's get right back to Mark and that Extreme team with the latest from the Spokane Humane Society and your forecast for the work week, Mark. Oh, having a little technical trouble there. Our shot is frozen. You can see the microphone. <laughs> yes, we'll you can. We'll check in with Mark, but uh, expecting a pretty nice day today. Indeed yeah. we are. Yeah, we'll get to more on that in just a minute. Uh, we are following breaking news to start the 6 o'clock hour. A single wide trailer went up in flames early this morning in North Idaho. Happened in the 1200 block of Iron Horse Circle in Post Falls. That's where our Casey Lund is live this morning. And Casey, what can you tell us? Good morning. Somebody Hi, beat. Melissa and Rocky. Somebody beat Don. Where's Don? Yeah. Rocky, very nice to meet you on Friday. There he is. Casey, thanks so much. All right, now let's try head uh, back out to see Mark and the Extreme Team. You're there. Yeah, I'm here. I, I don't know. No, I'm not frozen now. This is Larry Whitcock. He's been a, a friend of the Extreme Team since we started this. What do you have on the truck? We have uh, five eighths minus pop cores. Okay, we've got a lot of that. Or what else has got? Uh, we're going to bring a three quarter around for some decorative and some bark. Around here, me and Red Bird, and also um, um, Inch and a Half Round. Yeah, a little river rock action that we're going to have some fun. I, I go, I need all this. He goes, I can't fit it on one truck. They keep bringing the truck. He says, okay, take a look at the forecast for the next four days. Beautiful weather for what we do, which is the outside Bless you. and the inside. Into the mid-40s, guys, all the way through Thursday. That's reveal day. Larry's going to be, uh, he checked up the street, so it's sort of handy. Handy to have him here. We'll have more coming up. All right, Mark, thank you. New developments now in the case against a Spokane doctor charged with sexually abusing children. The former physician charged with 36 counts of sexual abuse and child pornography will go on trial in federal court today. And prosecutors believe that Craig Morgenstern started molesting children as early as 2008, videotaping his encounters. 
prosecutors predicted there would be more charges after they recovered laptop computers that Morgan Stern had tossed in a dumpster after his arrest in Stevens County in October of 2014. That arrest came when a family friend, a boy, escaped from Morgan Stern's Nine Mile home and told 911 dispatchers that the doctor had drugged and sexually abused him. We will follow this case as it moves through the courts. Stick with KXLY right here on TV, as well as on radio and our social media sites. We'll bring you updates. Well, one person was hospitalized following a chaotic crash in North Spokane. Police say a driver traveled 24 blocks on a flat tire yesterday afternoon, ran several stop signs, and crashed into a car at Queen and Ash. Witnesses say the driver, 24-year-old Nicholas Jenkins, hit the curb and got a flat tire near Northtown Mall. According to police, he ended up running a stop sign at Queen and Ash, hitting a car, a street sign, and a fence before trying to escape on foot. Neighbors helped catch him. Jenkins was arrested for vehicular assault and more charges could be coming. Spokane police say it's likely he was impaired. In news around the nation, formal charges are expected today in a shooting spree that killed six people in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Authorities arrested 45-year-old Brian Dalton, who drives for Uber. Police say they are looking to see if he was transporting customers before, between, or after the shootings, although there is speculation that he was. Dalton opened fire at three different locations, spanning 13 miles, culminating outside a restaurant where four people were killed and a teenager critically injured. One of his passengers says that he was just happy to get out of the car alive. And that man says this all happened before any of the shootings took place. Uber says Dalton passed a background check and police confirm he has no criminal history. They are looking for a motive. A judge should decide today whether a lawsuit against a gun manufacturer brought by families of Sandy Hook victims can go forward. The gunman shot and killed 20 children and six adults in 2012. The suit is the most recent test of a 2005 federal law designed to protect gun makers from liability when their guns are used in crimes. Since its passage, nearly every such lawsuit against gun makers has been dismissed. The U.S. Supreme Court is back in session today for the first time since the sudden death of Justice Antonin Scalia. Chief Justice John Roberts is expected to mention Scalia's passing from the bench. Scalia died last week while visiting a remote Texas ranch. He was 79 years old. President Obama has vowed to choose a Supreme Court nominee to fill that vacancy. In your Voice Your Vote election coverage now, candidates are back on the campaign trail today after Nevada and South Carolina voters made their picks for the Democratic and Republican nominees. Donald Trump is flying high after his big win in South Carolina, but he's also getting some heat for a message he retweeted suggesting that Ted Cruz and now Marco Rubio are both ineligible to be president. Rubio, who finished second, responded saying this is a game Trump plays. The South Carolina race claimed one campaign with Jeb Bush calling it quits. As for the Democrats, Hillary Clinton hoping to gain ground after her win in Nevada. She gave her victory speech, then flew out to Texas. Bernie Sanders went straight to South Carolina after coming in second. He also touted his support among Latinos in Nevada. But Clinton won with African American voters, a group which makes up a large portion of the electorate in South Carolina, where she holds a commanding lead heading into the next primary. Well, have you ever wondered what uh, John, or you would have wondered what John Lennon would have to say about something like this? Uh, probably get back a four-inch lock. You see what I'm trying? Mm -hmm. A four-inch lock of his hair sold Saturday for thirty-five thousand dollars. A hairdresser on the set of How I Won the War, starring Lennon, clipped the Beatles' hair for the movie part back in 1967. Well, the person who bought the lock is from the UK and collects entertainment mementos. He also won two vintage newspapers discussing Lennon's makeover for the movie and an autographed call sheet. How about, come together, mm. right now, over, over hair? Over my locks, I, Maybe. Don't I don't know. Good morning, Northwest time is now 6.08. Uh, Mark is here, actually he is out live at the Humane Society, uh, working your magic. You people are up, PCI's putting up the grid. BPI is here, they're putting in the windows. Uh, that's BPI Home Solutions on the other side. And we're going to have a couple of uh, dogs we're going to show you need to be adopted and find a good home. 
And with that weather warming up, some of us are feeling that itch to get out on the golf course. Coming up, we'll tell you which course has just opened up for business. That <clears throat> looks terrible. Oh, Rocky, you good. Hope that friend of yours is okay. Uh-oh, what are we doing? We're like flashing. Uh, we must be losing our connection because I was frozen here and there. Yeah, we've got a weak connection. Weird. Um, Cammie wants to know if we rehearse our newscast or wing it. Um, we read through uh, on our own, and then we just, whatever comes out, comes out. Yeah, we don't, we don't like sit down and go through it beforehand. But yeah, no. we've read the scripts, our directors know which shots they're gonna take, and then it just kinda all flows. Hi, Jamie, good Hi, morning. Jeremy. Oh, sure. Do you want back? Oh, sure. Let's do, um, we don't have shoop shoop or I would pick that this morning. Uh, instead, we'll do, oh, let's do, um, 818A, 818A. Can I just do that? Uh-uh. I guess it is. Something else. This. One eight, eight. Okay. Isn't that what Drew's saying? I don't know. I think it is. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. Hope you have a great day, too. Good morning, Charlotte. Do we have, um... It is 6-12. This song was sung Friday night at karaoke night by our very own Drew Reeves. Very nice. He, he brought it. He's a karaoke regular. He is. And pretty good, by the way, mm -hmm. we will say. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. I hope that uh, those of you who are in attendance did as well. Raised a bunch of money for Team Closet mm -hmm. and the Extreme Team. But right now we're giving away money. Yes, it we are. It's time for KXY's Great Gas and Grocery Giveaway, all sponsored by Senec Zip Trip and Yolks Fresh Market. Today's secret word is woman for your chance to win $100 worth of gas and groceries. Just go to our website, kxy.com, or the KXY4 News Facebook page. And at the end of the month, just one winner will receive $1,000 to spend at Fred's Appliance. Make sure you're clicking on the link for Great Gas and Grocery Giveaway. That is where you um, submit your the word of the day, which is a woman, uh, as well as your information. You can find that at kxy.com or the KXY Facebook page. Make sure you watch the news at 5, 6, and 11. Three more chances to win today. All right. And right now, we're going to send things back out live to the Spokane Humane Society, where Mark Peterson and the Extreme Team are knee-deep in renovations already. And we're knee-deep into pop. This is uh, sugar. Let me move you. Here to find out more about sugar. Oh, maybe that's our friend. This one over here. We'll find out more about that coming up right after the letter. Adorable and sweet. All right, take a look at this. Okay. Now, so Mark is throwing back to us. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Hey, the Great Lakes are going to be pretty nice. They're going to be in the 40s and 50s today. They're going to feel spring. Into the northwest, as will we. But Seattle, all the way down the I-5 corridor into Portland, it's been the wettest year on record for Portland. Things just a mess. They can 
continue to get more. The sizzle winter season. Thank God it's Monday, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Good morning, Shirley. Oh, and Rocky, thank you. The wifey's all right. She's awesome. Okay. This is sugar. Oh. This is Dave Richardson. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. Oh, no. Tech Fleet segment live from the Spokane Humane Society. That's why we're doing this, Mark. We need to make her over. I love Dave. I've heard bad puns for the last eight days. All right, tell me about this guy. You know, this is Maya. Maya is 10 years old, and she is looking for a home that she can just kind of chill out in. Hi, Missy. Oh, she's sweet. Good morning, Missy. And good morning, Crystal. But where are you watching the sunset? Oh. Crystal, yeah, where are you? Valley, and you're watching the sunset. Are you sure it's not rising? I think that's what she meant. Hi, Ange. Good morning. He's said that before. We're building hmm. the, what is it? Meg Rover. Meg Rover. Okay. I think people should go to check out the animals and just to see also what's going on out there. Of course, of course. Yeah. My dog Roxy came from there almost eight years ago. Hmm. All right, good morning, Northwest Time, now 6.16. Before we head into a break, here's today's Raise the Flag moment. <laughs> Rocky says when he needs a bodyguard, he's going to get your husband. That's why I keep him around, don't you know? <laughs> People don't mess. <laughs> oh, Kevin says Mondays are his Friday. Oh, the weekend starts for you. Oh. Very nice. Oh, and Crystal has a baby that woke her up. Oh. We'll give him, him or her lots of snuggles. Clay pops it on TMZ, oh leaving club with hot chicks. Oh, car full of them. Hey, Jeremy, I need a mic. That was a full video. Give him a on one group. All right, everybody. Hi, Ken. Good morning. Hey, our pal Drew is just coming in, so we... Yeah. He came and left, but he'll be back, so we'll let you, we'll give you a peek. Yeah, Rocky, we agree. We have a great group, a lot of fun. We're very fortunate. Okay. We would have liked to keep karaoke for another couple of hours. Uh, sure. yeah. yeah, I think yeah. we've learned, we learned a lot from that Jack first Peter. one. Yeah. Ah, yes, learned a lot from that first one. We're gonna do it longer. We're going to, I don't know, we'll do some other stuff different. <laughs> and I'll <laughs> pace myself with the beer a little more too. And I say we up the money. We need to raise more little, money for our, I was for our tasty peeps. by the end. <laughs> All right. Here's Drew, who, by the way, sang a couple of songs. He sang with me, saved yeah. my, well, saved Captain the day. Captain Tenille. That's right. He was, he was the captain to my Tenille. People were shocked I knew the words to that song. Because you're so young. Yes. Love, love will keep us together. 
Some sweet talking girl comes along. Here we go. We're going to move this. <laughs> All right. Bear with me for a second here as you look at the weather center. We will readjust. Uh oh. I just muted your phone. All right, welcome back. It is 6.20. A new trend is sweeping across Thailand, but not everyone's too crazy about it. Many people now don't go anywhere without a doll, even eating and sleeping with it. Drew, what's this all about? This is so bizarre. The dolls are known as child angel dolls, and many people believe they bring wealth and good fortune. The child angel dolls are blessed by a monk and even given a birth date when they find a parent. People say they pick dolls that call out to them and are treated like a member of the family. Parents sleep with their dolls, sit with them at dinner. Some are even served food. What? However, there is some backlash against the dolls. Some restaurants and hotels have banned them, saying they'll scare away customers. <laughs> I would certainly agree. Well, sweet moment caught on camera has caught the hearts of America. This mother was filming the moment her son broke down in tears. He was crying because his sister Abby used all her birthday money to buy him a pet hamster. The mom says Abby wanted to buy her brother the hamster because he has been working so hard to save up his money for one. So sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, this is the video you definitely do need to kick off your Monday for a good start. This bunny was found in a litter of bunnies that were born on a farm in upstate New York. Sadly, many of the bunnies did not survive the bitter cold, but this one, was found frozen almost to death, but it was nursed back to health. Oh. But when its back legs didn't work, they oh my built goodness. it that wheelchair. Aww. How sweet is that? Oh, and it's so snuggly. And I know. It's like affectionate. And, and look how small it is. It's oh, definitely it's a bunny I would want to just snuggle up with. So tiny. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> the doll thing, though, that's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I don't know why you would serve your doll food and treat it like your child. Strange. I, I don't even know what to say. It's now 622. Uh, the Cougar women were down two with just seconds to go. Could they somehow snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? And in their final home game of the season, the WSU men were once again trying to snap their lengthy losing streak. Could they get it done against Cal? Find out next in sports. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Monday morning. We'll be right back in two shakes. Tori, second, so you can uh, okay. read that first one. Fantastic. Do you see this picture of Pablo Sandoval from the Red Sox? He's that guy they called Kung Fu Panda. He's giant, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Somebody posted that picture of him, and so he's making like all these rounds this week because I guess like you know the Red Sox had told him they wanted to lose some weight in the off season, but he's like. It's like, I don't weigh myself. I, I, you know, I am who I am now at this age or whatever. Wow. Um, so I don't know if there's... Backlash? Yeah. <laughs> huh. yeah. Doesn't know what he weighs. <laughs> Safe to say, Pablo Sandoval didn't miss too many meals this last year. Starting to hit the wall. Mm. Mm, bad. Yeah. Bad news. I don't think I'm updating live again. No.
Yeah, Suzanne, seriously. It needs a large uniform. Probably an extra, extra large. Melissa has joined everyone. I believe she's starting her first day of insanity this morning. Insane. <laughs> it's the most truly insane workout I've ever done. It's crazy. And Jamie, we were so glad you were there. And not just there, but like, rocked it. <laughs> it was the highlight. Only an offense for Dallas Chiefs. I'm telling you, the second time, ESPN Sports we worked hard to keep our collaboration a secret, too. You guys were fantastic. It's mostly subdued around here because Mark's out of the station, too. <laughs> the decibel Mark's level goes down a bit. Mark's out, Casey's out live. Yeah, I don't get it. It was on Pac-12 Networks, and I, I saw a video on Twitter. They could have they got it. All right, golf, as you know, is a weather-driven sport. For sure, and this weekend's weather did not disappoint for city courses. Oh yeah! <laughs> the Creek at Qualchan and Down River Golf Course both had golfers out on their courses to tee off the official start to golf season. Down River was hit by the windstorm, but the few signs of remaining cleanup didn't phase the diehards out there on the green. Yeah, it's, it's fairly busy. We have 85, 90 players, plus we'll probably pick up a few more during the afternoon. We're just approximately one week later in starting than we were last year. Yeah, this is what we all look forward to is opening day. The Down River is already using its permanent greens. They say as far as February is concerned, everything is in great shape. And Bud Nimick was saying he was going to be going to Qualshan this weekend. Nice. Getting out there early. Hey, it is time for a look at birthdays for today. A big one today. Happy 21st to Trisha. The message says, we hope you had a great day. We love you very much from mom and dad. And happy birthday to Tori Ryan, my fellow 1995 Moses Lake High School graduate. Uh, works in uh, IT here in town. And also, I'm sure, will be hitting the golf courses soon. He likes mm -hmm. to swing the sticks. If you have a birthday or some other kind of wish you'd like to get on the air, send it to us at goodmorningnorthwest at kxly.com. Be sure to include the picture, the message, and whatever else you'd like. It's now 627, our next half hour, coming up right after this. Uh, 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 uh. It looks like a Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were basically karaoke ninjas. Nice. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Gotcha. Yeah. Our uh, producer is just talking about some changes coming up in this next uh, new segment. <laughs> yeah, nice, Rocky. Uh, we we could have lit that whole stage with our heads. So yeah, we uh, we got our butts kicked in our first basketball game on Saturday, uh, and it's really funny because somehow the boys were like, "Oh, we only lost by one basket." I'm like, uh, I don't know where you guys got <laughs> from because we got smoked. But the, the other team had this one kid. I think they'd probably played together before. This one kid was phenomenal. He probably had like eight baskets, and we had like three or four like the whole game. Okay, but like we noticed like. We didn't never really talked about like rebounding. Like oh. that, the other team would shoot then. and then they're like going after the ball and we're like standing and watching, you know? Now you know what to work on. And now we, like and yeah. now I know we gotta like play to the rules more too, because you know, we're teaching them like pass and stuff. Mm -hmm. But 
you can steal that you're allowed to steal a pass but you cannot steal from someone dribbling, dribbling. Okay. At the same. so i'm okay. like forget passing then just dribble all the way they can't you know they can't stop you from dribbling so a little learning learning exercise but yeah Corey and i were both like dumb kind of like that team is like <laughs> really good that's got to be one of the better teams we're gonna face Maybe it'll be the best one. Get that one out of the way first. Yeah. Five, stand by. Three, two. Live from the KXLY News Center in downtown Spokane. Good morning, Northwest. Working for you. Now in KXY 4's Good Morning Northwest, a domestic violence turns deadly at a woman's workplace and on a western Washington highway. Why conservative radio host Glenn Beck wants you to fast today. And how to celebrate a snow day at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Not a bad way to do it. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nance. It's Monday, February 22nd. Glad you are with us. Mark, not in studio because he is out working with the KXY Extreme team at the Spokane Humane Society. We have an orchestration of talent here. First of all, BPI All Solutions just finished those two custom made windows. They're going to go around the corner and put more in. Uh, we've got Garko getting ready to put this new store door in, which is going to be turned up. Nice to see some lights. He lights up. We get coffee. And of course, Jay Puppias. It's probably not ours. Good morning, John. Come from Good morning. All right, he's going to be doing his stuff. He's got to be out here by 10 a.m. Take a look at the forecast. It's going to be absolutely beautiful today. We're going to have some sun, some clouds. We're expecting to see a continuation of mild weather. The current conditions, we're into the low 30s. It's a little on the cool side, but... Now I got Captain and Neil in my head. There could be worse things. Hi, Mark. Thanks so much. We are following breaking news this morning. A fire broke out in a mobile home in Post Falls this morning. And two people were inside that home when it happened. Our Casey Lund is live this morning. Do we know how it started? We are just one day away from another battle in the race for the White House. Tomorrow, the Republicans will caucus in Nevada. GOP frontrunner Donald Trump hoping for another victory after his big win in South Carolina. Now, the Democrats are in the South courting the crucial African-American vote. ABC's Kenneth Moten reports. Yeah, I wonder why they do that that way with Nevada and South Carolina instead of all in one state at the same time. Oh, that's weird. 
Well, hello, Edward Graybeck. Thank you for joining us. Lynn asked whatever happened to Dave Erickson. He's now got his own media company, uh, and then he does a lot of stuff for like Iron Man, um, like all their social media videos, and then he also does something called like Everyman Driver, where he basically like reviews cars and stuff like that. Yeah, you can certainly find him um, on all social media. He's all over. Well, around the Northwest this morning, the Coast Guard and local responders had to use a helicopter from Oregon to rescue three people near the Grays Harbor South Jetty. Take a look at this video. Two surfers and another person were stuck in currents offshore. The helicopter hoisted the three of them to safety. They were reportedly in good condition. A police shot and killed a murder suspect who led them on a wild chase south of Seattle. More than a dozen police cars were involved in the pursuit. Sheriff detectives say the chase started when the man shot and killed his estranged girlfriend at a nursing home where she worked early Saturday morning. Then he took off, shooting at police. No one else was hurt. In news around the world now, cleanup begins in earnest today after a cyclone that killed at least 20 people in Fiji over the weekend. Home to 900,000 people, Fiji has more than 100 inhabited islands. The government says getting supplies to remote communities is the top priority. Winds from Cyclone Winston reached 177 miles per hour, making it the strongest storm in the southern hemisphere since record keeping began. ISIS has claimed responsibility for car bombings that hit Syrian regime strongholds yesterday, killing more than 100 people. The bombings hit hours after world leaders announced an imminent partial truce in the war-torn country. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says he still believes a ceasefire in the area is possible, but no action toward that ceasefire has been taken. An anti-Obama campaign in Russia is growing as a message projected in the Russian capital portrays the president as a killer with horns. The campaign seems to have started with a video appeal to the U.N. saying the president should be punished for thousands of lost lives. One Russian lawmaker called the campaign shameful and disgusting, but said there's no doubt it is sanctioned by the authorities. In news around the nation, Glenn Beck wants supporters to join him in Fast for Ted Cruz. The radio talk show host made the plea in a Facebook message over the weekend saying, quote, I would like to ask you to join me and my family Monday in a Fast for Ted Cruz, our country and the Nevada caucus, end quote. After internet ridicule, he repeated the request while campaigning with Cruz Sunday. Beck endorsed GOP presidential candidate before the Iowa caucuses. And last week, Beck says he believed that God brought about the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia in order to encourage Americans to vote for Cruz. The director of the FBI is calling on Apple to comply with the judge's orders in a letter released last night. He's asking Apple to open San Bernardino killer Saeed Farouk's phone. He says the FBI does not want to break the encryption on anyone else's phone, but Apple still claims the security of other users will be put at risk. The FBI says getting into Farouk's phone is critical to finding out if anyone else was involved. All right, here's one way to wake up with a face full of snow. The Toronto Zoo posted this adorable video of the giant panda Day Mao last week. According to the zoo, he woke up to see the snow and got really excited. You can see him emerge from his cave, tumble down that snowy hill, and he liked it so much. There he goes, climbed halfway <laughs> up so and decided to do it again. Why not? Oh, uh, well, I'll take mine on the <laughs> rocks, please. Get out the tequila and the limes. Today is National Margarita Day. Cocktail consists of tequila, triple sec, and lime or lemon juice. It can be traditional or frozen. Mix up your favorite. Enjoy today. Yep, you heard him right. It's softball with a snowmobile twist where Wisconsin, of course. There are sports-specific rules like you can't start your sled until the ball is hit and coats and gloves are required. The action looks chaotic, but players oh. say that's part of the game. And once you've tried it, you'll be addicted. I wonder what kind of injuries I love it. are sustained in this. I love that. Hit the ball, jump on, and crank it up. Yeah, you better hope your starts quick. <laughs> right. Oh, boy. Looks fun, for mm -hmm. sure. You know who's having fun is Mark. Of he course. got to tear stuff up first. Now he's fixing things. Yep, let's get live to him again with the uh, KXY4 Extreme Team Project at the Spokane Humane Society. Mark. This way, Johnny, who's at the Main Street, JW Main Street. 
industry. Mutual materials donated to this year. They're not ready. I'm, I'm not used to having everything ready when I show up. We <laughs> He's done a lot of projects for us. We thank him. We thank you for watching. Coming up, we'll have more on the extreme team what we're up to today. we got a long hit list. You're watching the cover balance on auto. We go in next. Going back and forth between yellow and blue. I don't know, Jeremy. Well, the last shot was kind of like, it was looked like it was outdoor lighting. I mean, like artificial lights, and then it looked like it was natural lights, so I don't know, maybe you didn't re white balance. Good morning, Tamara from Deer Park. Oh, you're talking to the other Derek. It's Monday morning, peeps. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get going here. Music. Eight one five B, eight one five B. What's happening, y'all? Had to make a copy run. Eyes are. Sagging. They're worried about you. Don't like worry. You look exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? It's true. I'm exhausted. Jamie, you better be paying attention right here. music failed to play what? so let's uh, sing something you know well we are going to show you <laughs> something from our karaoke night yes the other night now <laughs> please all right want to say a huge thank you to everyone who turned out to good morning northwest karaoke for a cause and thanks to your generous donations we raised a whole bunch of money for teen closet and the kxy for extreme team and uh yeah we thank you all there for a turnout at the viking bar and grill and having some fun with us yeah and you know we didn't really know what to expect it's our first ever but you know what we have decided we're doing this again longer uh, more fun will be had because it was just a blast and we took lots and lots of pictures it was a packed house and I, I just posted a whole bunch of them uh, this morning on my Facebook page. I failed, failed to do that sooner. There you go. And that hey! is me with KXY4 viewer Jamie Merrill. She's actually on our Facebook live stream right now. We took on Salt and Peppa and killed it with Shoop. Uh, she mentioned actually on the live stream yes. that she was going to do it. Mm -hmm. I told her I would join her for the rap interlude great. and then just kind of busted it out. You were fantastic. <laughs> and we'll let you know when we do it again. We'd love everyone to join us. Uh, just a fun, fun night was had by, I think, all. Of course, Mark was there as well, yep. and he is now out live at the Humane Society with the latest on the Extreme Team project. Everybody, so I asked Scott, who's our foreman from Garco Construction. This is one of your bigger projects at Mount uh, Rolls Hospitals, you know, Air Force facilities, other than that. So, what are you saying in the karaoke? Go ahead, you can tell 
Oh. <laughs> he wasn't sure if you wanted to. He's like, do I go there? <laughs> Reveal that publicly. Norman Elwood, Kansas. What's happening, Norm? And see, I told you you should be watching, Jamie. Madam Karma Karaoke, Wednesdays at the Moose Lounge in Coeur d'Alene, and Rusty's on Saturday in Hayden. Okay, okay. Brandon. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah. During the week, mighty hard for us, though. Foggy in Medical Lake, says Colleen. Okay. Let's look at the temperatures. No way. Denny Hamlin wrote a childhood essay about winning the Daytona 500, and yesterday's dream came true. Wow, that's awesome. Pregnant rapping harder than it looks. <laughs> Impressive even more so now. I was already way impressed. So you work on that breathing while you do it. It's a big project. Yeah, good stuff Exciting. for sure. All right, Good Morning Northwest time is now 6.47. If you have a news tip or a story idea to share, you can contact KXLY, our newsroom number, 324-4004, or pop on to social media, Facebook, Twitter. We're always there. Uh, just search KXLY for news. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on KXLY 4. We'll have your quick cast right after the break. <laughs> Norm, what's your shop? What's your shop there on the other side of across from St. Joseph Mo? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Norm, how did you find us? Are you from here? <clears throat> yeah. Curious. What made you jump on? Good morning. 
Buenos dias, Lisa. You do, Jamie, you do not. So Jamie and I were taking a selfie and I knocked over a drink on my way to, yeah, yeah. I, it was bad news. <laughs> Dumped it all over and Jamie thought it felt like it was her fault. She kept trying to buy me one. I'm all like, no, it was totally my fault. And then the next night I was at fundraiser, tripped and knocked over another drink. <laughs> I think huh, it's my guardian angel saying, you do not need to drink. Dude, one more party foul and you're out. Uh, seriously, and I have like a giant bruise. It was the weirdest, the weirdest thing. Bye, Rocky. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. See you, Rocky. Oh, Norm has uh, an RV in Moses Lake, but he works. Oh, he works out here. Okay, okay. No, he works out there. Works out there, an RV in Moses Lake. Okay. All right. That's a long commute. <laughs> yeah. And Jamie, if it's bugging you that bad, yeah, you, you can buy me a drink. It's fine. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Your time is 6.50. Time now for your Good Morning Northwest Quick Cast. A single wide trailer went up in flames this morning in North Idaho. And this happened on Iron Horse Circle in Post Falls. Two people escaped. Our Casey Lunn live on the scene with the latest. The prompter clicker is acting up here. Okay. I'll be ready. A former Spokane physician charged with 36 counts of sexual abuse and child pornography will go on trial in federal court today. Prosecutors believe Craig Morgenstern started molesting children as early as 2008, videotaping his encounters. He was arrested when a boy escaped from Morgenstern's nine-mile home and told 911 dispatchers the doctor had drugged and sexually abused him. One person was hospitalized in a chaotic crash in North Spokane. Police say a driver traveled 24 blocks on a flat tire yesterday afternoon, ran several stop signs, and crashed in into another car at Queen and Ash. Neighbors helped catch the driver, 24-year-old Nicholas Jenkins, when he tried to run away. He was arrested for a vehicular assault. The man suspected of killing six people during a shooting spree in Michigan this weekend will be arraigned in court today. Police are still trying to figure out why Brian Dalton killed six people in Kalamazoo, seemingly at random. He also picked up passengers for Uber in between the shootings. Dalton shot eight people over a span of seven hours. Around 250 people are trapped in an Idaho city. A, a landslide is not allowing anyone in or out. The major slide Thursday trapped the residents of Elk City. It left nearly 15 tons of debris on Highway 14. The Idaho Transportation Department says right now there is no way to get anyone in the town, to get to anyone in the town, rather. There's no word yet on when the highway will reopen. Yeah, really not far from Riggins, Idaho. Golfers turn out at Down River and the Creek at Qualshan Golf Courses to tee off the start of the official start of the golf season. Down River was hit by the windstorm, but a few signs of the remaining cleanup didn't phase the diehards out on the greens. Down River is already using its permanent greens. They say as far as February is concerned, everything is in pretty great shape. And we're going to see a lot more of our courses opening up now mm -hmm. in the course of this week and next yep. for sure. All right, coming up, Mark is going to have your final check of the weather. And thanks so much for joining us. It is 6.53 on your Monday, February 22nd. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. Elk City is like just east of like Grangeville oh, like I didn't in know like the Nez Perce National Forest. And basically, I think our, our viewing area goes like, it, it's in Idaho County and it goes, I think our viewing area goes to the Idaho County border. Like it, it comes like here. <laughs> so it's probably like just outside. Just outside. Just. <clears throat> Brandon, you have a great day as well, Carrie. Yeah, unfortunately, no. Yeah. We got a while. <laughs> Missy, thank you. Very sweet of you to say. John, you have a good morning yourself.
Yes, Lisa. We appreciate you listening in the mornings when you're getting ready. Absolutely. Oh, Jamie's saying pick your poison. Ooh, I will, Jamie. She's gonna get something expensive then. No. Brenda, you have a great day as well. Norm, peace out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got about five more minutes for us on the live stream, so, so if you have questions, ask away. Comments, tell us about it. Only if they're really, really nice and flattering, though. Right, and not telling me how tired and <laughs> grumpy I look. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I had a cap, I would tip mine as well to you. We love you, Jamie. You just are great. And your friend was really adorable, too. What was the guy's name with the VW? Dennis. Dennis. I've seen that car all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what the last name was. Fifteen, y'all. It is 6.56. Coming up next on Good Morning America, a mother is bringing attention to a terrifying hoax. And she posted a photo announcing her baby's birth, but the picture was stolen and plastered online with a fake story leading to brutal harassment. And the latest on Bill Cosby, his wife Camille set to go under oath this morning answering questions in a defamation lawsuit. This after her lawyer's attempts to stop the deposition failed. Coming up on uh, our 74 cast, it's going to be up. The temperature sent to the mid-40s all the way through. Then we're going to hit 50 degrees on Thursday. Overnight low is going to be a relatively mild. We're going to be about average. So things are looking pretty nice, guys. I've got to tell you. So... The extreme team in full action this week. Uh, we're going to be here on Good Morning Northwest all the way through the week. Uh, can't show four news at 5, 6, and 11 o'clock all week long. This is what's going on right now. PCI is putting the grid for the drop ceiling. They'll get the grid. Can I ask Mark a question? But on Thursday, they'll come back and put all the ceiling panels in and around the new lighting that's coming in from Mountain States. To the answer, you. on top of that, some of the uh, circle lighting, uh, uh, the cans that are going to be around over this. Uh, uh, over the uh, countertop. There we go. I know I figured it out. All right. John and JW Bay Street is putting on the brick face out front. On top of that, we're going to have siding from Country Homes Building Supply. We got a lot to do today, but it's going to be busy oh, all boy. week long Dang for project. sure. All right. We appreciate you watching us here on Good Morning Northwest, and we'll see you in about a half an hour with an update. Have a great morning. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. It's a Monday. What else do we have in here? Uh, Carrie, if we're excited, it's a snap. Missy, boost. thank you. You're very sweet. Have a great day yourself. Yes, Missy, do have a great day. All right, everybody. Uh, we are signing off. We will see you tomorrow morning. Same place, same time. 6 a.m. sharp. Be there or B square. Stop it, Rob. <laughs>